This is Speaking of Writers. I'm Steve Richards. The book is Tales of Now and Then, the author Harry Hutchins. It's a collection of short stories written over many years. Some are more or less contemporary. A few are set in the 19th century, and a few others were inspired by the work of other people. Harry Hutchins has been interested in folklore, mythology, history, fantasy, and science fiction for a very long time. During a career as a teacher of mathematics and computer science, he has been writing stories of several kinds. Happy to have Harry Hutchins join me here on Speaking of Writers. Harry, welcome to this program. Thank you. Glad to be here. So tell us a little bit about you, Harry. Well, um, I'm an American. I, uh, as I, as you said, I spent a long time teaching mathematics and then computer science at several different Midwestern universities here in the United States. Uh, I've been writing short stories and other things for many years. I think the Started, I think I started writing stories in the 1970s. It's only in the last few years I've tried to get any of them published. What got you into short story writing? Well, novels are longer and more work, for one thing. I, I come up with ideas for stories, and, and they go where they go. Some of them are longer, some of them are shorter. At some point in my life, I thought I should be more creative than I was, and I, and I worked on it, and I came up with uh, story ideas. How do you come up with the names of your characters in your short stories? Oh, that's hard. That's a hard. That's a hard question. I I, I have story uh, characters in my short stories named after oh characters from not from other people's books. One of this, for instance, uh, there's a character named Meg in one of these stories, and Meg is the name of a character in Little Women by uh, Louisa May Alcott. There's also a story here based on characters from Louisa May Alcott. I guess I use names I've heard. You mentioned Louisa May Alcott. Uh, was she one of your uh, influences? Uh, I hope so. She wrote Little Women, and there's a character named Beth in Little Women who never had a boyfriend and died at the age of 19. But I found a loophole in the story where I could interpolate in my own little account of her having at least a gentleman caller. That, that's, that takes place in, oh, maybe 1870 or so. Who else were some of your influences, authors? I'm very fond of... Uh, well, very science fiction authors. I'm fond of Ursula again. I'm fond of uh, the work of Jane Austen. I'm fond of uh, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Samuel Clemens. I I've, I'll have a whole house full of books. And I've read a lot of them. Chatting with Harry Hutchins here on Speaking of Writers. His new book, Tales of Now and Then, is out now. By the way, it's available at writersrepublic.com. BarnesandNoble.com and Amazon.com as well. When you construct a short story, Harry, what's your process? Often the hardest thing is to know where to start. I have an idea for a character and things that happen to my character, but what should the first sentence be? And that's often hard. And, I'll, and then eventually you have to figure out what the last sentence is, and that's often hard. In Tales of Nine, Now and Then... I uh, have a very various different things. I have a story about gossip at a, at a uh, company where everybody's busy gossiping about everybody else, and some of it's fairly nasty. One of the things I had in mind there was a couple of anecdotes about harm done by the gossip. They're all fictional. It's all made up. Where I worked was no, no, near as bad as that. Another one of these stories is about, about movie music. The young man is a uh, movie buff. He knows all about uh, classic movies and things that happen to them. He can explain the plot of, you know, The Big Sleep, which is impossible. He start, he's an expert on the the, mu the music played in movies. So he, he could tell two characters are about to meet cute by the music. And then he starts hearing a lot of music in his head. And it goes on from there. Harry, how did your career as a teacher of math and computer science help you with your writing? Oh, that's hard. I have written at least one or, at least one story, which is not in this collection. But it has it was computer science related. Um... It's hard to say. Um, I, I, if, it, to some extent, writing was so com was quite completely different from some of the things I was doing in my teaching. It was good to have a way to get away from it. I've written a lot of material that's not in this book, and not. I'm hoping to get some of it published sooner or later. Science fiction, fantasy, stories about religion, things like that. As I mentioned in the introduction, you're interested in a lot of different genres here with folklore, mythology, history, fantasy, and, as you mentioned, science fiction. I think you should be interested in a lot of things. What would you like readers to take away from this book, Tales of Now and Then? Oh, that's hard to say. Um, I'd have to say uh, I try to write about rel relatively civilized people, and I think, and I think these are reasonably nice, clean stories. 
I think you can tell a good story without dealing in violence, uh, for the most part. There's such enough variety here that I hope the variety itself inspires some people to think about different possibilities. Uh, are you working on another book right now? And uh, if so, can you give us a sneak peek into what it's about? I'm writing, at the moment, what I, one of the things I'm working on is a short story based on, on things in the Old Testament of the Bible. And I hope eventually to have a collection of stories based on th things from the Bible or related topics. You know, I have in mind a story about a young woman who wants to know more about angels and gets the opportunity to learn about them. All right, he is Harry Hutchins. The book is Tales of Now and Then. It is out now, available at writersrepublic.com, also barnesandnoble.com and Amazon. Harry, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And this is Speaking of Writers.